story you're about to see is a film, but it's short. The names are made up, but the problems are real. It was Monday, 6.43 p.m. We were more than 100 miles from Los Angeles and could only guess if Kareem Abdul-Jabbar had signed to play another 20 years for the Lakers. I was working the day watch out of Mathnet. The boss is Thad Green. Our newfound friend is Bronco Guillermo Gomez. My partner is George Lempelon Frankly. My name is Monday. I'm a mathematician. We were working on a perplexing case involving gold that was stolen from a stagecoach in 1853. We decided to look at a couple of scenes from yesterday's show to refresh our memories. How much gold did he get? 15 pounds, Ms. Monday. It was worth about $3,600. $3,600? That gold would be worth a lot more today. But in 1853, a dollar was worth a lot, too. Let's see. Gold is worth about $500 an ounce today. Actually, $496.75 on today's market. Well, let's see. 15 pounds, 16 ounces in each pound. Not when you're measuring gold, Mr. Frankly. Gold is measured in the Troy system. That's 12 Troy ounces to the pound. Bronco's right, George. Okay. 12 times 15 is... Hmm. 10 times 15 is 150. And 2 more 15s is 30. So that's 180 ounces. 180 ounces at... I'll raise your card. Uh, 180 ounces at roughly $500 an ounce is about $90,000. At precisely $496.75 an ounce, it is exactly $89,415. Bronco had been working with a copy of a map indicating where the gold was supposedly hidden. He thought he'd found a solution. I kind of stumbled on it. Look what happens when you see the reflection in this thermos. I'll be doggone. Dig here. Oh, dig here. We verified the map at the Kern County Library and were warned about an old desert person named Scruffy Rommel by librarian D. Jean Moutard. Just be careful, that's all. Be real careful. Are you sure you know where we are, Bronco? Oh, pretty sure. Hope we get there soon. I'm not getting very good mileage on this oat burner. Try it down, Seabiscuit. I don't like this any better than you do. There it is! Walt's ghost! Sure does look like a ghost town, all right. Let's ride. Last one to the saloon buys the staff brula. <laughs> I don't know about you, Seabiscuit, but I don't much cotton to sarsaparillas. 